toward the mark. Goodness, if once I'm saved, always saved, I ain't got to press for nothing. But this walk is based on the determination of faith. You have to have something inside of you to cause you to want to press toward that mark of the high calling. 
Now, Paul was one of the greatest apostles of them all. Yes. And three times he asked God to remove an affliction in his body. And I believe the third time God said, no, uh, your faith will suffice you. Yes. Um, in other words, don't ask him to do everything for you. Something you got to just believe and trust in. Right. So Paul knew, and he kept on preaching, he knew that because this affirmative of the flesh was not healed right now, sooner or later it would be resolved, and if not sooner or later, then in glory. Right. So all we have to do is understand that there is an element of faith that must be proved by an action in your life. Now I want to jump right into verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Now, the word by wisdom, in other words, by your natural understanding, you, you had no concept of God, uh huh. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. What? Uh, by, <laughs> by the foolishness of preaching. You say now, save them that what? Believe. Everybody does not believe the gospel. Yeah. That's why everybody's not going to be saved. And anytime someone can tell you you're not responsible for your behavior, and I want to explain this, and kind of, I, I touch it on my Bible class on Wednesday night, but let, let me explain one thing. When they teach there is, for there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, it's not talking about after you are saved and converted. It's talking about before you converted. Not so many, many times before you was converted, there was nothing you could do to cause God to uh, take notice of you. It just took his sacrifice at Calvary's cross. But then the Bible says in verse uh, chapter uh, Romans, uh, verse, chapter 6, verse, uh, I think it's 3 or 4, shall we continue in sin where grace hath abound? Yes. God forbid. In other words, because I'm saved by grace, therefore there's no condemnation, I still can't go back and continue in sin. So it's by the fruits of preaching other people say, but if what if a preacher is afraid to preach the truth? All right. Hallelujah. And then when that preacher preaches the truth to you, then you got to take a stand to prove your faith in God. All right. I'm reminded of the woman who had an issue of blood. Yes. Now you know somebody told her about Jesus. All right. Amen. Otherwise she never would have pressed through the crowd. Mm -hmm. She knew Jesus had something that she needed and had to have. No force on earth was going to stop her. No sickness, no affliction, no weakness in the flesh was going to cause her not to have strength in her faith and resolve to believe. If I can get close to Jesus, something's going to happen to me. I don't know how sick she was. I don't know about the affliction. But it was an issue of blood. But we do know that she was weak. And she had spent all her money on doctors. Get me close. There was nothing left. <laughs> Right. Oh, glory. She said, well, somebody told me about Jesus. But through the Amen. foolishness of preaching, didn't right. right. Somebody, now the story don't say, but somebody had to tell her about Jesus, and somebody had to tell her, he's coming by this way. Hallelujah. Now, she may not know what hour or what time, but she was by that place that she knew Jesus was going to pass by. Right. Why? Because somebody told her. Somebody had to preach Jesus to her. For her to know that Jesus was her all right. And Jesus was her Savior. Yeah. Yeah. So the foolishness of preaching. Yeah. If the preacher's afraid to teach about Jesus, how do people going to know? All right. If the preacher's afraid to tell you your moral responsibility, yeah. how are you going to know there's no difference between right and wrong? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. How are you going to know that Jesus is more than any doctor? Jesus is more than you, oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus is your heart and all you believe in, you know? So somebody had a preacher, try to let you know, you still got to keep preaching. Whether they believe it or not, you still got to keep preaching Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And finally, she went by the way that she knew he was going to come by. And she pressed her way through the crowd. She didn't call on Jesus then. And she had to make a way because something is, each person got an individual responsibility to serve God in their own way. Yes. And God deals with each individual in a different way. He might deal with me the way he deal with you. Or the one next to you or the one behind you. Yes. But he deals with every individual the way he wants to deal with them. Yes. Right. 
after she had heard the preach, what? She said, I've got to get close to him to touch a part of him. I don't want him to anoint me with oil. I don't want me to stop and lay his hand on me. I just want to get close enough to touch a part of him. Her faith, hallelujah. And so if he gets close enough, so the Bible says he pressed away through the crowd. Amen. Yeah. And presses very deep here. I've told you many, many times, press don't mean you can ease your way through. She had to go through an effort through the crowd and everybody wanted to get close to Jesus. Now here's a woman who's dying. Yeah. Weep. It's your blood. When you ain't got too much blood in you, you ain't got too much strength in you. But there was something inside of her through the preach to word that caused her to do everything. I got to get close enough. Yeah. How many times did she get stopped? How many times did she get knocked down? How many times did people tell you, you got to get back in the end of it? Not me. You got something I want. I'm going to press my way through the front. I don't care who rebukes me, who pushes against me, who tells me I'm out of place. She got close enough. Yeah. That she could touch a part of him. The Bible says outer garment. Yes. And that's when Jesus stopped. Now here's the point that's so important that you understand. He knew the woman was there. He knew the woman was standing there when the pass by. Now he knew she was dying. And she knew she didn't have too much strength. Y'all listen to me. But the woman, regardless how much physical strength she had, her spiritual strength outtrumped her natural strength. Oh, hallelujah. I don't care how sick I am. If I believe God is all in all, if I can get this close enough to him, if I can just hear the preach word, if I can hear a song this morning, something going to happen to me. Why? Because I believe it. I believe it. If you believe it, is that what you said? Through the pushes of preaching, to them that what? Believe. You got to believe on the thing. Man. You got to believe it. If you don't believe it, it, listen, it, it, it don't matter two cents to me. But go on and do what you want to do if you don't believe it. Yeah. What George Smiley, these hypocrite preachers teaching, is an unbelief. Yeah. God did it all. But you nothing for me to do. There ain't nothing for you to do. Oh, loose here. All right. All right. Yeah. The whole lot you got to do. One, you got to learn how to press your way. Yeah. If Jesus did it all, why you got to press anything? Why you got to force anything? Yeah. Why you got to strongly believe? Why you got to activate your faith if he did it all? all right. Understand the lie from the truth. That's right. And when you hear the truth, do something about the lie. How do you do that? Turn away from it. Amen. Because why? I got the truth now. Yeah. I got the truth. I. I believe. Yes. I don't worry about you. I believe. I believe I can get close enough to him. Yes. I believe I can just touch a part of him. Something going to happen to me. Oh, how And he just never stopped until he got, until she pressed away, got knocked down, rebuffed, until she got close enough to touch a part. That's when he stopped. Amen. Told his disciples, somebody touch me. Yes. See, everybody touch me. No, 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 not in that way. This woman had some faith. And then he told the woman, Go that way. Your faith has made you whole. How are you here? I remind you of the lepers. You know the lepers. Back in them days, you couldn't touch a leper. Because it was a forbidden disease. Touch it, catch it, so they say. So lepers were put in a different place outside the village. And after, I believe it was after dark, they could come in and bathe. And people with, uh, with a sympathy of heart, they would often leave food by the side of the way where the lepers would come, and that's how they that's how they existed. So some lepers saw God. I'm talking about the preach word. Somebody told him he can heal you. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Yeah, he can heal you. And you ain't got to get close enough. All you gotta do is believe and call on him. Yes. And they saw God way off, the Bible said. And he said, Son of David, have mercy on us. Amen, amen. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. He turned around and said, Go show yourself to the priest. Right. What do you say? And while he was on their way, bro, oh, what happened to that person? Right. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody had to preach to them. Brothers and sisters, if Thank you don't read the preach word, you'll never receive your blessing in Christ Jesus. Yes. But don't let nobody be careful. You don't let nobody tell you no foolishness. Oh. Don't tell nobody's word. God did all the time. He did. He done his part. But there's a part you have to do. Yes. Someone said, should Jesus bear the cross alone? Right. Now the world go free? All right. There's all right. a cross for him, but there's also a cross for me. All right. 
Did not Jesus say, pick up your cross yeah. and what? Follow me? Yeah. What if there was no effort? Why did he say, pick up your cross? He could have said, pick up your blessing. But he said, your cross. Mm -hmm. A difference between blessing and a cross. Amen. Amen. Cross means hardships, difficulty. But how can I pick up my cross? You see, the wooden cross, it's not a natural cross. It's a cross of suffering that you go through in a physical state that you overcome through a spiritual mind. So physically, I'm going through something right now, but spiritually, I know I'm going to overcome. Because yes. I got the Spirit of God within. Yes. It ain't about the flesh. It ain't about how much I ate in pain. It ain't about no not here or not there. It's about whether I believe God is all in all. It means how to do it. Well, man, here's your blood. If he saves her, if he sends her, not, for, yeah. not even touching them. Yeah. What more can you do for me? If I believe yeah. it doesn't yeah. change when you walk by faith, you've got to have the power of faith in you. If you ain't got the power of faith in you to overcome, you will never overcome. But Paul said, I'll press for the power of the high power of the king. Ain't I not worried about that picture of the flesh? Yeah. Ain't I worried about physical conditions? Because I look past that. I can only see it. The glory of God. Yes. I can only see the manifested blessing yes. and faith and serving God. That's why we come to church often. That's why we keep pressing toward the mouth. That's why we don't look at natural things and natural yes. conditions, natural circumstances. Yes. The natural man, the Bible says, cannot be seen. Things that are yes. given of God. They are foolishness to him. Just like the said about preaching. It's foolishness to him. Mm -hmm. That believe. But if I believe, hallelujah, it's not no more food. Yeah. Right. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. I believe this thing. Yeah. And I'm going to continue to press. I'm going to continue to go to church. Yes. And I'm going to continue to carry my cross, my burden of responsibility. Yeah. And I'm not going to look at the negative. I'm not going to look at the cross part. Yeah. What the song says, you exchange your cross for a crown. Right. 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 I'm looking at the crowd. I ain't looking at the crowd. I'm looking at heaven. I ain't looking at the hell down here. Yeah. I got my eyes focused yeah. on Jesus. Church, they're teaching a whole lot of mess now. Mm -hmm. And they're discouraging a many people along life's highway. But I'm here to tell you one thing. This Bible is real. Amen. If you allow it to be real in your life. Right. And all of you here have heard the priest's word. Amen. You ain't got no business thinking about it. Leaving the church oh, and going back to the world. Yeah, because my best loved ones is back there in the world. I don't care if all of them leave you. Yeah. And friends included. Yeah. If you know you got Jesus, stay in the church. Yeah. Stay in the press. Yeah. Don't look at the natural, look at the spirituality of heaven. Yeah. Don't look at what you're going through. Yeah. Hey, you got to go through something. To win Jesus. Didn't that Paul said, I suffer all things? Mm -hmm. I've given up everything that I might win Christ. Yes. In other words, he, he, he ain't won it yet, right. but he's given up everything to make sure he wins it. Right, I've given up everything in this world to make sure I'll make it to heaven. Yes. And devil, you can't stop me. Yes. Hallelujah. How that song goes? You can't stop me. Somebody sing that song for me. I'm in just out of my way. Pointing out the false prophets and having faith, and if you know, gets between Joyce Myers, Old Stan, and TJ Salone, that's over 20 million people following them on Twitter. That's over 20 million people headed to the lake of fire. 
because they don't have the discipline to follow a man of quality of character who teaches all the Bible and Father Abel Walker. Yes, so the Bible says, Straight the gate, and narrow is the way to live in life, and few that be the times. I can't die that we are few, but we believe and we trust in the Word of God yes. through our leader, prophet, who teaches all the Word of God. Yeah. He talked about the woman, the issue of blood, mm. how you got to stay in the press. Mm. Is the press easy? No, that's what they call the press. Mm. But it's not hard. But like Papa say, if we got the Almighty, mm. Bible says we can do all things through Christ. So I thank God. Again, I came in happy. Yes. I'm even happier. Right. We're going to have the church tonight. Yes. Right back. To the temple of God, the church being cursed. No, we are winners and we win all the time. Yes. Now we're standing to be a smith. Mm -hmm. May the Lord watch. May the Lord watch. Between me and thee. Between me and thee. While we're absent. While we absent. One from another. One from another. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God.